I think we're going to have a great uh, couple of weeks of spring break and a lot of people here. Winton Island Candy Company store owner Kimberly Winton says her store sustained major flooding when the storm hit. Winton says her family owned business had to work very hard to open their doors back up to their customers. We dropped, we were rebuilding our home and we dropped doing that and came down here um, and did that with the help of our employees, family, um, friends that have gone to school here with us. They came and a lot of volunteers. We were very blessed with the volunteers. Now workers with the popular Sweet Tooth Spot are making sure their candy, fudge and other treats are ready for visitors to grab. And down the street, Jade Wolford with Boardhouse Surf and Skate says staying prepared before spring breakers come into town is crucial. You were always doing pre-books. You prepare for this time of year. You know, we're always getting all of our new inventory for spring and summer. This time having all the new products on the floor and stuff and just gearing up for the season. Sometimes spring break can be slow, but it's the beginning of what we expect the, the year to be like. This year, workers believe this month will be a good one for the store. The surf and skate shop has been a staple in Port A for 14 years. The back of the building and inventory inside took a major hit from Harvey. But for spring break, both businesses say they appreciate everyone who stops by. Uh, they're everything. I mean, you create a, a loyal customer base and they come back to us over and over again, year after year, just by, you know, the service that we provide and, you know, how we just take care of people at the shop. Um, very blessed. We look forward to seeing our existing customers. We look forward to meeting new customers and just seeing everybody's smiling face when they come in and get candy. And business owners also say that this spring break, they hope that it will give them an economic boost and that will even carry them over for the summertime. Reporting in Port A, Jeremiah Marshall, Action 10 News. Drew?